Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. I'm Sumit Vishwakarma, and uh, I'm very pleased to be talking at the TEDx event at GBC Chapalpur. I I have been doing um, several things lately, so I just want to introduce you who I am and uh, what is the goal of uh, today's talk. Today we are going to talk about the potential of apps and how app is industry is changing the world. So apps are basically, you know, applications written for mobile devices. It could be iPad, iPhone, you know, Android devices, Windows Phone, and so on. So I will talk about two areas: how apps are affecting education, and how apps are affecting. Um, the art world yes art painting and drawing so with that let me introduce myself i'm sumit vishwakarma and i am an electronics engineer i work in silicon valley uh, for a well-known eda company and uh, i graduated from gc jabalpur almost 10 years back in 2001 and since then i've been here in silicon valley uh, you know trying to create new stuff for uh, semiconductor industries. So I'm, I primarily work on the EDA, which is electronic design and automation, and we make simulation softwares for chip design companies like Intel, you know, ST, and so on. So we use simulation softwares, primarily transistor level simulation. So today I will show you an app which takes uh, your circuit and simulate it and give you the results uh, of your circuit simulation. So these softwares which we sell at my companies are as expensive as a million dollar. But in today's world, as a student, what you would want to know is if your concept work, the design concept is well understood, right? So you don't need to go and buy a million dollar software what you can do is you can go buy a $10 app, right? So we will see a demo of uh, app, it's called iCircuit, and I will walk you through uh, some simple design and see how you can use it as a proof of concepts. And uh, when I remember when I was in, uh, in the college, uh, we never got a chance to do real simulations because we lacked the tools at that time. Uh, we really wanted to, you know, give uh, a try to some real circuits and see how you can simulate them and, and look into the uh, results. So with time, things are changing so fast and tablets, iPads, they are so common that everyone can afford to have them. If you have a tablet, uh, iPad, you can buy this app. This is a $10 app and uh, it can give you a very basic starting point to design your circuit. So let's look into this app and after that we will switch gears and talk about some fun stuff. So with that let me take you to this app and I will pause here and uh, we'll take, we'll, we'll go through the app demo and then we'll come back. Thanks. Right, everyone. So let's see how we can use apps to design circuits and simulate. So let's take the example of an inverter. Inverter. It's an inverter circuit is, is made up of a PMOS and an NMOS. So a PMOS looks something like this, right? And if you have a square wave input, like you have a zero here and a one here, this guy is turned on when a zero volt is applied at the input and you will see a current flowing here. And a NMOS looks something like this. So if you have a square voltage applied of one volt and then here it will be turned on. So this is a PMOS and this is an NMOS. So how does the inverter look like? It's a very simple circuit. An inverter is basically a combination of a PMOS and an NMOS connected together. So we have uh, input applied here this is the input and then this will be output out 
and if you have a input waveform you will have a output waveform with a opposite phase so very simple inverter circuit which you can use uh, for a quick circuit design and uh, you see how apps can be used to simulate this design so let me take you the to the simulator app which is called i circuit okay so this app is called i circuit it can uh, help you design simple circuits so if you open a uh, new design at the bottom you will see there are several components you can use to create your own circuits and then for example over here there is a PMOS and there is an NMOS and so on so you can use this app and create your inverter circuit just like I have it over here and uh, I'm going to open the circuit which I designed earlier and you can see how does the circuit look like uh, exactly like the like what I showed you earlier as a PMOS on the top and NMOS on the bottom I connected a square wave voltage mm -hmm. source here and there's output resistor over here at the output uh, so if you want to look into if you want to simulate the circuit it's already simulating it in real time you can stop the simulation so now the simulation is stopped and uh, basically on the top right corner there's a play button when I press the play button the simulation is turned on and you can see that the current started flowing from 5 volt supply to the ground uh, from the PMOS uh, so let's look into the input and the output so I click on the input and then I see a voltage where which I am seeing a square wave applied to the input and then I click on the output resistor here and I can plot the output voltage so you can see the yellow over there is the output and the orange is the input so you can see the output is is a 180 degree out of phase uh, as compared to the input so very simple circuit and a proof of concept how you can do simple design uh, and si do simulate them in uh, real uh, simulators using these apps okay so that's pretty cool and then with this I complete this demo of this app and uh, I hope you like the simulators app is called iCircuit it is for dollar 10 at uh, the app store okay thank you bye bye okay so you have seen how simple it is to use this app and you can design your own circuits and uh, see how it works you can look into the waveforms and so on when I was doing my research at Arizona State University I designed a very simple circuit uh, but it was uh, focused on high bandwidth low noise amplifier and I published a paper in IEEE so you can if you're interested in uh, my design you can go to IEEE website and look for my paper now let's talk about some fun stuff yes fun stuff so apart from electronics engineer I am also a artist well this passion um, really is uh, I would say is at its peak right now so <laughs> and thanks to to iPad for that so I always used to draw when I was a kid but you know we can never make a career out of it uh, uh, as an artist right that's what is told to us so I was uh, asked to become engineer and I become engineer and then I uh, thought you know I still want to do something I, I want to be a cartoonist uh, but uh, you know I thought you know maybe that won't earn me enough to to have a family going so I thought you know maybe just uh, just for now let's uh, let's just be an engineer and then I bought my first iPhone and I could I could download some apps and do some doodling and I, I thought that's really cool so I started putting together my, my paintings. My friends told me that you know I should put together a website, and uh, I put a website, and then I was um, able to get a gift from my wife an iPad, and uh, I said, "Wow, that's really cool! It gives me bigger canvas space, and uh, it 
opens up a whole new world of creativity. So I started putting uh, my paintings on iPad and started drawing on the iPad and uh, I, I realized that bigger canvas gives you a lot of opportunity to go into finer details and you can create realistic, very detailed artwork. So with that, I um, was first invited at Macworld uh, last year uh, at their sketch station to do live painting on iPad and I did that and that was the start of a new journey for me and since then I have been uh, in this um, uh, my goal is to promote this medium among students and kids and teenagers and everyone who wants to love uh, learn art so with that I started doing free workshops at public libraries uh, here in Silicon Valley and I also Invested, invested some time in creating uh, animations. So today I will show you live demo of a few of the apps which um, you, know, you can use on iPads and other tablets and create some wonderful artwork. And it's really fun to do some uh, creative animations and you know use them to create personalized greetings and so on. So looking at my work, uh, Macworld invited me to be a speaker this year. So I just finished my uh, talk at Macworld uh, here in San Francisco and it was very well received. So you can always go to YouTube and uh, listen to my talk for details about what I talked about. So with that, uh, let me take you and show you some live demo of a few of the art apps and how you can be an artist or an engineer artist. Let's go there. Thank you. Okay, let's look into some of the art apps now. On the top left, you will see an app called ArtRage. I use this very often to create realistic looking iPad paintings. And this app over here, which is called ArtRage, I'm going to open this app and you will see that you will find traditional brushes, those kind of things over here in this painting, uh, in this app. So let me just open a new painting and then I select the type of canvas, there are several kind of canvas I can pick. Once the canvas is open on the left hand side you will see different kinds of brushes, tools and uh, eraser and so on available for you. Let me show you how does this app look like. So I pick a brush, it's an oil paint brush and I pick a color uh, from the right hand side from the color palette and I try to paint something. So let's let's paint um, let's paint hard. Oops, I think I picked two metallic. Um, yes, that's better. So I paint it hard, and then you paint with another color, and then with another color, and then with another color and you can see how nicely the colors blend here in this app you see that how nicely the color blends so this app will let you paint very realistic looking paintings because the blending of the color is very close to what you see in the traditional art medium right so all this blending of colors you can see over here is very neat the simulation of the effect is pretty cool, very realistic. Another example would be, you know, in traditional, you sometimes see paintings made up of tubes. So you, I pick a tube and I put some color on the canvas and then another color right next to it and then another color. And then I use a palette knife from the tools. So this is a palette knife. And then I try to blend the color. So. I just choose um, a, a different uh, kind of a palette knife here which is this one and then increase the size and then you can see how nicely the colors blends okay and the app understands where there is more color so you can always you know take the color from one place to another because the app knows where there is more color so I have used this app in several of my paintings and I will show you some of the work I have done using this app. So 
I don't save this and let me show you, you know, some of the work I did using this app this painting of mine is very um, popular and it's been showcased at the Macworld Digital Art Gallery at Los Angeles Art Festival and several other exhibitions so you can see this painting over here there are very fine details and the colors and this is done using Artrage there are other paintings which I did using Artrage for example the painting of a girl on a beach um, and then this one over here all done in Artrage this one over here this is done in Artrage so, so you can do very fine traditional art kind of paintings using Artrage now let's look into another app and this app is called Procreate which is the second icon on the top row so when I open this app it's, it opens up it takes a few seconds to load this app is called Procreate it's a very powerful app and uh, you can see several of my artwork over here let me show you an example of how you can use layers to create uh, you know digital paintings uh, which can use the techniques of uh, digital um, uh, media to create faster artwork so for example I'm gonna show you how to do a realistic painting of a fruit so for example here it's a pear so I have multiple layers once I make a basic sketch of a pear in one layer I put some efforts to give a lot of shading and then I don't do any more effort in this pair what I do is I duplicate the layer so I can duplicate the layer and it will show up another layer over here this layer is on top of my current layer so what I can do is I can move and then got another pair I can make it a baby pair or a mama pair so I can rotate it to any angle place it wherever I wish however I wish so similarly I can I don't need this because I already have it so I place a pair here and then I place another pair and then I do some shading as if a shade and then I change the background to something dark here and then I do some texture and here is your pair painting a still life pair painting so you can see how easy it is to use iPad uh, techniques uh, to create realistic looking paintings so I will show you some of my work using this app here so one of my very popular painting is this one over here and this is a spider-man uh, illustration I did using procreate and you can see all the finer details in this painting this was showcased in the Mac for iPad co contest as one of the winning entry this painting this is the painting of a flame done on iPad everyone knows this guy Buzz Lightyear done in procreate um, coca-cola this is done in Procreate. So several of my artworks have been showcased in several galleries. I hope you enjoyed using these two apps. And there are other apps which you can look into my website. Um, my website is www.ipad2art.com. And uh, with that, I conclude this demo over here. And I hope you okay, like it. Okay, so you have seen some of the uh, art apps and how they can be used. So iPad can not only just be used for creating art but also for animation I have been researching several apps which can be used to create some really creative animation to create some uh, uh, videos which can be used for education for example I created a video to show uh, my son how a solar system looked like and uh, uh, you can create videos and animations to uh, uh, show short stories right and you can always use these animations uh, for some kind of uh, ads or promotion um, clips for your websites and so on so you don't really need to know programming and here is a short clip I will show you which I um, uh, created uh, for my educational website which is called www.ipad2art.com the goal of this website is to promote uh, art and animation using tablets and iPads. So I take classes here 
and anyone who's interested can join uh, these classes I also provide online classes uh, but uh, you know uh, it's, it's your creativity which uh, you can use just by learning these apps on your own so if you're creative enough you don't really need a class uh, but I just guide you through the right way so with that look at this uh, clip uh, it is uh, done using iPad and all the animation over here is done just using iPad okay take a look of app can be used to educate people for example you can uh, teach your kid a basic mathematics to uh, engineer about circuit simulation for people who are interested in creative work like art and animation you can use various apps to create some fun stuff to really serious artwork you can use it for animation to educate new concepts to kids, to teens, and even to grown-ups. So you can see the potential of app is amazing. If you want to be an app developer, that is a growing area, right? It can be iOS, it could be Android, or it could be uh, Windows. So with that, I would like to conclude my talk, and I want to say best wishes and good luck to everyone there at GDC and everyone who's attending this event right now. Thank you so much. To learn more about me uh, or, and my work, you can always go to my personal website. It's www.summitstudio.com. And if you want to learn about uh, what I'm doing uh, in the iPad world, you can go to my educational website, www.ipad2art.com. Thank you so much.